Whether you're creating an Instagram style photo or finishing off a digital painting, the curves adjustment is one of the most used adjustments in Photoshop. Unfortunately though, like quite a few features, it's not available in Photoshop Elements. So how can you use the Levels tool in Elements to create the same kind of effects as a curves adjustment? Firstly, go to the Fill Layer icon just above the Blend Mode drop down menu and select Levels. By clicking on here, you can create a non-destructive adjustment layer. This means that we're not editing the picture directly, which is good if you want to add more to the picture or remove the adjustment completely. Here you have your regular levels controls, and this menu controls the overall brightness and contrast of your image. Tweak the middle stopper. This is the equivalent of dragging the curves channel to brighten up your image. The other stoppers all control aspects of brightness too. Next, go to the drop down box at the top that says RGB and click on the red option. Again, move the middle stopper to the left and this will raise the red in your image. Have a play and see what looks good. Now that you've edited the red, use the green and blue channels in the same way to edit the colour in the picture. You might want to keep flicking back between all three. Just experiment with all the channels in the drop down menu. Once you've edited the levels in your photo, you might want to use a couple of other tools to perfect the image further. Hit the fill icon and choose hue saturation, which can just brighten up the image further. And once you've done that, why not add a subtle light leak? Go to quick and you'll find it on the right hand side. Remember, you can tone it down by clicking back on Expert and altering the opacity. And there we have it. That's just a quick introduction on how you can use levels in a similar way to the curves adjustment. If you've liked this video, please hit the thumbs up below, click subscribe and find us on Twitter at PShopCreative. And until next time, thanks for watching.